you, you said Mad Men ending was like mourning, and you go through all the stages of grief. Um, how did that come out in you? You know, you're losing something that you've spent, in my case, nine, the better part of a decade with. Right. So you're, you're, you're going from kind of one reality to a completely different one. Um, and it was, it's hard, you know, it's, 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 you know, I think probably still the, the one thing that I'm really known for. I've got other things that I'm very proud of in my career, but it's that there's, there's, there's one that's pretty outsized. Um, and it's a challenge, you know, it's, you, 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 you have to kind of, like I said, reorient your existence to, to figure out, okay, what am I going to do with my days? <laughs> like it used to be from March to August, I, I knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and then it, attendant with that comes, you know, do people think I'm any good in anything else? Do people want to see me doing anything else? Do, am I, you know, am I a one trick pony? All this other stuff comes into play. And that's what you're thinking. Well, at you're the time. just because you're, you're unemployed for the first time in nine years. It's, it sucks. It sucks being unemployed. And really, you even felt that then, even though, I mean, you're deservedly almost unemployed. You just you know, killed it at the show for it's, it's, however many that seasons. That kind of thing never like, goes away. It's, yeah. and it, but, it, but when you're, I guess, I guess old enough or, or mature enough, you can, you can understand that that's a thought that you have and then understand that that's ridiculous and you'll be fine. How do you replicate the high of being TV's leading man? You don't. Uh, I don't, and I think there's a reason that so few people have done it more than once. Uh, but it, but it's also like it's an important lesson to like, to let that be its thing, let that be what that was. This period of time from 2006 to 2015, that was a hell of a run. And don't chase after that again. Go have another experience. Go look for something else to do. The reason I think that Mad Men was so successful was that nobody thought it would be successful. You know, you look at what's popular on TV now, and they're kind of the outliers. The things that, the sure bets that people are, oh, this is gonna be amazing. Mm. People are like, seen it. Seen that guy do that before. So I, got, I get a chance to, to work on things now that are exciting and, and fun and funny, and I get to work with the people who I've, who I've established relationships over the, you know, the last 15 years of my career. And what was that process like for you of figuring out uh, what to do professionally post? I don't, you know, I don't really know. I, I, I certainly didn't have any kind of like overarching strategy or... or but really? Like, not, no. I, again, it's not really how I... Was that intentional? Yeah. Uh, but it's also, it's again, it's just the only way I really know how to do stuff. I'm not a big master planner. That's not how my brain works, really. I'm more of just like, a, okay, well, let's see where this goes. Let's see where this trail leads. Um, and again, I think, especially in this, it's like holding on to sand. You know, the tighter you, the tighter you grip it, the, the less you have. Um, and, and I've been fortunate enough to work, the, a lot of the people that I've worked with have really wanted to work with me again. And that's really nice. Um, so, I've just been taking it as it comes.